friends, today let's learn Dust My Broom by Elmore James. We're going to be learning this today in standard tuning, unlike the way Elmore played it, which was D A D F sharp A D, I believe. It uh, doesn't matter. We're not doing it in that. We're doing it in our standard tuning. Uh, and you, so you can play most of the rhythm, well, all of the rhythm parts here, like uh, like Elmore did. It's going to sonically sound the same. Very easy to do. This song is built off of the classic 12-bar blues chord progression. It's in the key of D, so if we're using our 1-4-5 chords, as we call it in the 12-bar blues chord progression, we have a D, a G, and an A. And so the chord progression is going to go something like this. D, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, Three, four, D, two, three, two measures of G, two, three, four, two, three, four, two measures of D, and then our turnaround is A, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, one, two, and we're gonna punch or, or push that A. Okay, now it's going to make more sense when we're actually playing the guitar licks here, but that's how the basic uh, song structure is going to go. Okay, so of course Elmore uses this classic boogie woogie lick in and throughout this tune. Okay, very easy to play in the in the key of D or the, for for a D chord. What you're going to do is just play the two middle strings, so three and four, and you're going to be playing this shuffle rhythm. <laughs> except you're going to play, and I'll show you that in just a minute. It's helpful if you mute the strings instead of playing like all out like that. It's not going to sound so good. So mute the strings a little bit. Just take that fleshy part of your palm. Sure, I said that, and uh, put it right there on the bridge, okay? And so essentially, that's your, what you're doing, okay? Okay, and then you're going back and forth between the second fret and the fourth fret on the third string while you're leaving the A note droning. Okay. All right. Now when we go to the G, technically we could go because when we're talking about boogie woogie licks, we're basically playing the one of the chord and the five of the chord and then you're toggling up to the six, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're using the major scale. Some people will play it like this. Some people will play it like this. But for most people, both of those are a handful. So we can find this D and E right here on the D string. There's the D and the E. So in this case here, I take my second finger, I put it on the G, I mute the fifth string, and I play that open note. So there's my D, and I'll toggle my first finger there. So when I'm playing my D, and I go to the G, now, to do this and to do it accurately and cleanly, you want to make sure that you're not playing that, that third string. You just want to play strings six, five, and four, and of course five is being muted by that third finger, right? So we got G, back to your D. G, D. Now when we go to the A, it's just like the D, just drop it down one string. So what we're doing here is the same thing. Put your first finger on the second fret of the fourth string and you're toggling back and forth between two and four on that fourth string while you're droning the A string. So this is what we call a turnaround. It's that part of the song that you can hear, okay, here we come. At to the end of that chord progression, we're going to turn around to the top of the chord progression again. So it goes like this. 
one measure of A, one measure of G, and then you're gonna hit that D one time, and then we go into... Okay, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's just talk about the chords all put together here. Hopefully you're downloading this chart, otherwise you can keep up with me here, but I'm um, playing the chords just like I would if I was strumming them, but we're, instead of strumming the chords, we're playing these boogie-woogie bits, okay? So here we go. So we're gonna start off with the D, one measure of D, one measure of G, two measures of D, just like this. One measure of G, D, here we go. G, D, again. Two measures of G, two measures of D. Measure of A, measure of G, hit the D, and now we're gonna get to that little lick part, okay? So after this, And then our lick is this. What I want you to do, it doesn't matter what fingers you use, do the use fingers that are, that are comfortable for you. Uh, depends on it. So, you know, my, my finger is here for that D chord, so sometimes I play it with my ring, sometimes I play it with my pinky and I walk down like this. But essentially, I'm holding that D chord, so I might as well keep that ring finger where it's at. And then you take your second finger, put it at the third fret of the fifth string, and you're gonna walk it down in chromatically, like. Okay, so you're gonna go. Or you can go. However you want. Um, So what I'm doing there is I'm I'm hitting this high note twice for every time I'm hitting a bass note. And then you're going to punch or push that A. And that's it. So that end part should sound like this. Nice and slow. And then we're back to the top and you've got this, all right, my friends? Hey, I'm very passionate about helping my students. Leave those comments below. Let me know how I can help you. Hit thumbs up if you'd like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I have tons of free stuff for you. Follow the links below, get that PDF. Also, watch out for this card because I've had a half a million people go through this course, this free course that I'm about to show you. And it shows you amazing stuff that's going to make you a great player. I can promise you that. It's helped a half a million people. It'll help you too. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.